The ingredients for Sulfati are really simple. It's just tapioca pearls, coconut milk, bananas, and sugar. Oh, and water. Make sure your bananas are overripe because these are sweeter than normally ripe bananas. And buy the smallest tapioca pearls that you can find because these will cook faster. First off, peel your bananas and put them in a saucepan. Then cover that with water and bring it to a boil. Once you've got your bananas at a rolling boil, then turn the heat down and simmer it. Some people like to chop up their bananas or mash them before they put them in, but I'm lazy. I let the boiling do all the work. After about 20 minutes, your bananas will be soft enough to break up with a wooden spoon. See, they fall apart, just like that. Okay, it takes a bit of work, but you can have chunky bananas or smaller pieces. It doesn't really matter at this stage because there's a lot of cooking to go. They'll fall apart on their own. Sprinkle in your tapioca pearls and constantly stir the sofai because you don't want the pearls to sink to the bottom and burn. Next, add your coconut milk. After you've stirred the coconut milk in, then simmer the whole lot until the tapioca is cooked. Now how can you tell if the tapioca is cooked? Well, if you look at these tapioca balls, you can see white in the middle. That means they're not cooked. About halfway through cooking, some of the pearls will be translucent. Some will still have bits of white in them. Again, not cooked. So just keep simmering it until you've got all the balls translucent. Here you, can, you can't see any white at all, so you know the tapioca is cooked. The final step, after you've turned off the heat, is to taste your sofai. If it's not sweet enough, simply add sugar. If you find that the sofai is too thick for your taste, then dilute it with water. But the recipe that you see here, and the recipe that's on my blog, that's the exact consistency of sofai that I like. See, it's thick and gelatinous, and the smell is like heaven. Now, so far is so awesome, you can serve it in a bowl or a cup, and you can serve it hot or cold. I like to eat this hot for breakfast, and then cold throughout the day, any time of the day. It's that good. Enjoy!